Good evening YouTube, this is Los Angeles Prepper and today we're going to talk about needles on the streets of a Bay Area town. Not just any Bay Area town, the town I was born in, San Francisco, California, which is a shithole of a town. Now, why do I say this? Well, I guess it depends on how you feel about trash, needles, and human feces. Um, it's really unfortunate, but San Francisco has basically had a we're not going to try very hard against homelessness policy for quite a while, kind of like Los Angeles, you know, the weather's nice, and granted, look, homelessness is a really complicated issue, but Look, look at these rates of, uh, you know, like they think if they put porta potties on the street, they're going to encourage people to be homeless. And yet uh, we see in other metro areas like San Diego outbreaks of diseases like hepatitis that can sometimes be related to sanitary issues. So, you know, is this is this somewhere where you want to live? Is this somewhere where you want to live? Reports of human feces. Now, you know, does this mean that anything's happening about that? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to bring this up because, you know, I talk a lot about Venezuela. And sometimes if people are new to my channel, it might be easy to think that, oh, he's, you know, picking on Venezuela. He must think America is perfect. No, believe me, I understand America is not perfect. San Francisco's had serious crime problems. In fact, let me tell you something about San Francisco. Let me tell you something about San Francisco, okay? San Francisco is home to some of the worst violence that I have been, uh, what's the right word, um, that I've witnessed or heard about in my entire life. Let's start with examples number one and two. My good friend's sister, who lived in the house that I stayed at for a few months. I lived for a few months up in, near to San Francisco, and then I moved to a different part of town. Um, we lived up here in Bernal Heights? No. Uh, McLaren Park? Where was it? Geneva... After that, Guadalupe, Geneva, Persia, Mansell, Claren Park. I think it was over here. Let's see. Where is where's Peru? Oh, I gotta find this. 856 Peru Avenue. Oh, it is over here. Okay, so I lived over here a very 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 long time ago the excelsior district this is actually a terrible part of town a horrid part of town uh there's some rough stuff over here there's some rough stuff in the mission district kind of rough stuff all over san francisco the nice stuff is kind of anything up on the hill and anything in a million dollar neighborhood this is not a cheap neighborhood okay this is not a cheap neighborhood my good friend's sister was robbed at gunpoint in her car twice on the way home. Basically coming home at a stop sign on one of the streets around here. Gets robbed on the way home. Don't steal the car, just steal her wallet. The only shooting in public that I have ever witnessed in my entire life happened at the KFC Taco Bell down the street, which I think think is where is that place here we go yeah this taco bell over here this is a kfc taco bell i was in the taco bell of course getting some food and bus comes up and i hear pop 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 i kind of duck down because i am not trying to get shot most people in kfc just kind of looked around and were like oh whatever very very surprising you know 
And uh, so, you know, a few moments pass and I kind of go around the corner just to make sure. I, I didn't really want to go check it out, but at the same time, you know, I got a little bit of first aid training. So heaven forbid somebody's bleeding out, I, I really should go see what's going on. It's funny as someone was like, oh, somebody got shot, you know, go after him. And I'm thinking, who the hell is going to go after a guy who's crazy enough to shoot somebody in public? You know, no idea. But, um, but anyway, so... The only shooting I've ever witnessed in public was in San Francisco. The only time that I've ever heard about anyone getting robbed at gunpoint twice was in San Francisco. Uh, we used to see caution tape all around this neighborhood. Uh, they'd have whole blocks blocked off. Um, I want to say my best friend uh, had his car broken into at least twice on this block. So yeah, San Francisco, kind of a shithole. Um, pains me to say it a lot of gorgeous places golden gate park is absolutely beautiful um some of the stuff on the coast is kind of nice but generally speaking it's just too many people and it's just too much craziness cities just the density is just too high i think personally population density has a lot to do with crime um it's just too much for me. I actually have an interview with the place tomorrow that's like right way up here, way in the like super, super expensive, you'll never buy a condo part of San Francisco. I'll probably live somewhere in Oakland and commute over oh, if I get the job. But at the same time, I don't really want to live in San Francisco. I don't want to live somewhere where the graph for human waste is going up. That is a shitty, this is a shitty graph. <laughs> that was lame, I know, okay. It, trust me, it wasn't intentional. It's just a word I like to use. Awful. Read this article. I'm going to put this article in a magical document for you. Read this article. Tell me if you want to move to a big city after reading this article. I don't, personally. Um... A lot of liberal bashing in the comments here. You can get a ticket walking a dog without carrying a plastic bag. Wow, that looks like fun. Anyways, bunch of interesting comments from a bunch of interesting people. Until next time, YouTube, I hope, yeah, thousand temporary beds at a price tag of 25 million. Why does a mattress plus a frame in a warehouse carry a $25,000 price tag in San Francisco? That's a pretty good goddamn question. Why does it cost $25 million to house a thousand people? A little bit ridiculous. Till next time, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, and watch out for those needles. If you do see a needle, contact the city or the police. Contact somebody. Can't be having needles around. Because we got kids. We got people walking around. It's not cool. Not cool, San Francisco. Clean up your act. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Don't do heroin, and keep prepping.